Summers because I'm from Virginia, Petersburg, Virginia. Um, every summer I come up, and then he was a part of the characters. When, when me and Troy got together, it was a, it was actually frustrating because we couldn't do songs. Like we would always chill, we, like we're real close. But then when we did start getting records done, it, it was like a continuous flow. And we did like records, banging them out, banging them out, banging them out. And when people are asked, they'd be like, "What's up with Trey?" And we'd tell them, we'd be like. Troy would tell him he's not ready, because it was at that point we were we like we never really went and shopped a deal. People came to us, and like it built so so great the the buzz of Trey songs, Troy, and I was there when he did bump bump bump, calling all girls, when he did the vocals to that stuff, and Patty and all that stuff. So it was like I was right there. So people people saw me, they knew me, but it was like who's the kid? And from there on. It just went to a humongous uproar. <laughs> everybody, it seemed like everybody wanted. We had Nas with a deal on the table. We had KG with a deal on the table. KG had uh, a deal over there at Jive. And uh, at Virgin, they wanted to do something. In the end, we prayed on everything. And, you know what I mean? Like, after after we prayed together, we actually fasted on it. And we went, we went through a serious stage of just letting God do his thing. And then it came down to Atlantic being the place for us. So now we are where we are today. My mom always wanted me to be the man that she's never, like she's always said, I'm gonna be the man she, she never had. Nah, man, it's not so Tell me why when you put a camera on a thug uh, The first thing out of his mouth Is I wanna thank my mama <laughs> And some say that causes drama My pops was locked up a long time But I got, I really got adjusted to not seeing my father I know for young males It's, it's hard to express your feelings to anybody Let alone uh, a woman like your mother can only do so much. Right now I'm at the stage where I, it's like he's still my pops regardless. I'm mad at it. And I'm too old to be like like angry and having a whole lot of animosity towards him because like at this point in my life I don't know where I'm going, I don't know. And it'd just be good to know to do. My mom, she always right here, she raised me to the point where where I think and I have morals and and she could like she could only do so much because I still got this and I got and I got that side of me where I'm gonna do what I want to do. But just the fact that she brought me up with morals and to think, just the fact that I think of her in any situation, like I wouldn't want to hurt her pride for nothing. She's so proud of me, it would hurt my feelings for her not not to be. When you're missing this first game, don't even know the boy nickname. That's a damn shame. With Trey coming on the verse, with it coming on the verse that I had spent around in my chair in my, in my little makeshift office, I spent around like this and was like, <laughs> now play that joke. Last we heard, uh, eight joints <laughs> were already good enough for the album. So we, we've done probably about... 10 new records since then. That's all we do is make records. Records! You saw us in the basement grinding it out. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh. 
<laughs> hey. Shouty. Uh. All I got is a doll in a dream. Is she gonna roll with me? You see, I tried a nine to five and it just don't fit me. No, I can get us out the hood and have us living good. You feel me? But I ain't leaving here if you ain't with me. Cause girl, a suit with a smile that don't fit me. Taking a bus for some miles is gonna kill me. I'm trying to turn it around, start this thing from the ground. And as long as you're down, I know, I know. Troy, Abby. Troy, Abby making the reach. You see this? Make it work. When I was in Virginia, Troy used to send me tracks so I could write to. And he sent me tracks and he sent me copies of my songs that I did. And one time, he sent me five songs that I did over the summer. And it said, Trey. Trey songs, but like not Trey songs, like Trey songs. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like songs, like songs of Trey. Trey's songs, what it would have been. But I looked at it, and everybody thought I was crazy first. <laughs> nobody, nobody liked it. I asked Troy a million times. He said, Nah, man, I don't know. Think of something else. <laughs> he told me a couple times, Think of something else, and I just ran with it. And we are here, and it makes it makes perfect sense because all the songs on the album I wrote along with Troy, along with Troy, and a couple other people. I stand for this, man, because because if you listen to all my songs, you relate, and girls gonna like it. Like it's always about the chicks first, but it's not an artist out there that can captivate like R. Kelly right now. Gotta make it, uh, really. Is. Really a humble video, you know what I mean? It's just really real, like, for anybody out there struggling, trying to do something with themselves in a, in a situation where they want to live a better life, where they want to do something for the one they love, for the people they love, not just for the woman they with, but for whoever, like, it's my, my album and title, I Gotta Make It, it's just that whole, that whole thing, not to be more listening or none of that, but that's just, that's just how it is. The stuff I'm saying is dudes can relate to because they like, oh, like real. And chicks want to hear it. And chicks want to hear it. It's like, oh, he's so sweet, but he get up. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just like a dude. Like if a dude can play my song when he don't know what to say to a girl. And really, that's that's what I'm all about. I want to be I want to be the dude that can walk in a rap session with Jay, Jay-Z. Put that Remember, we remember the, you know, the gold, the golden hits, you know, the, the great uh, songs that uh, make, define, define a generation, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, when we make a record, it, it's important to get the feeling that we have for the song across that that big drop there is from the from where the the sound comes out to the ear and the heart and the soul of the listener. I wanted to call the album a journal and I ain't have one. <laughs> so I just started keeping one and it really is like the when you got a journal what you look at is you look back on it and you look at what was going on with you then. I want people to be able to look back at it and think about what they were going through at that time and what was going on with them. And then for myself, I want to look at it as that particular entry in my journal. You know what I mean? I just, I just really want to be able to be able to have block loving my stuff in the corner like that. The tray is cool. You know what I mean? And that's really, that's really all it is. And if you if if you were to listen to like the album or what we have as the album now, or any songs I've done, lyrically we we ch we try to step out of the boundaries, just like R. Kelly would do. We, we like to say stuff that that make you say what? Oh, 
at, in the same in the same time. What what Troy like to say is you got your head swaying, and you got your head bopping at the same time. And what that means is melodically it's carrying you, but at the same time it's hard. Like cause we got the bass banging and then you got the harmonies in the background. It's it's really it's really a beautiful film. That's what I wanna do. I wanna come out the gates. I tell her that I got my blinders on. I want you to get so big that when I come backstage, you go by me without recognizing me. Oh no, I don't want to be that big, baby. I don't need to be that big. That's too big, baby. Okay. First video, Mark Webb, director. Trey uh, and his manager, Delante, had an idea of this video. They wanted to do something much more realistic than you typically see on, 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 in R&P videos. They wanted to uh, tell a story about Trey, make it personal and intimate and real um, about what it's like, where he comes from. Just trying to do something different than a regular R&B, dance and love interest thing. We're trying to do something that's real to a lot of America, so I'm excited. Trey's excited. Now I see about his first video, I think he's going to be a great actor. So, uh, more opportunities. More opportunities. This is a monumental moment for me. I tell you why. Because this is my first time in 15 years that I get a chance to have an artist who can express everything uh, uh, that soul music is all about at a young age. Trey Songz is a legendary guy. He's the next king of R&B. I know that's a, a real tough statement, but he is. The next king of R&B, I guess, or you want to say Prince of R&B, or maybe something that's never came before. Now you see him on Big Mike. Clue, nah, not Clue yet, Envy, K Slay, a whole bunch of other DJs playing them now, so you know, this is what it is. My man Trey Song making it happen, just gotta make it, you know, a new single. And Cheeto on your record is serious too. Trey Song, man, the next one to do it, man. Oh, that's my boy, I knew Trey Song since he was small. Oh, we got his hands in his pants like this, though, yeah. Trey Song is the artistic side of Tremaine Nevis. He's a good boy. He's my grandson, he's a good boy. The next big thing. He is the big fan. My grandson. Trey Songz is the next. That's all you gotta say. Trey Songz, he a good dude. He a good dude. Got a good heart. Shouldn't that count for some? It's your boy Twister. And I'm honored to work with my boy Trey Songz. You know it's going down. This song is real hot. I definitely think it's a winner. You know, just gotta make it. Gonna be the next thing. The next young male coming out. I mean, songwriter, producer. He's got it all. Trey Songz is a problem. You better watch out for that kid. He's the future. He's about to blow up. I'm going to get him a grenade. Big old grenade right here. <laughs> Big old diamond grenade. You can say, what's that spot, Trey Songz? It's about to blow up. Trey Songz, man. It's Trey Songz. And the homie Twister. And we're going to have to make it, y'all. For my baby. Because we entrepreneurs.